Ah, we're coming down the Richardson. This is towards Keystone Canyon. And um, up in front of us is the problem area where you have all those slides that have come down over the road. It's an impressive sight. Tons of snow from an avalanche in Thompson Pass engulfing the only road to Valdez. Well, I've seen big avalanches like this, but never, uh, you know, making this much problem. The Department of Transportation contracted with Alpine Air Alaska to drop more than 300 pounds of explosives to secure the area. The blasting would be to everything up above is still very unstable. So they, they try to trigger the avalanches in order to, um, to make it a stable environment where they could clean this up. Right now, the biggest concern isn't the snow on the road, it's the water backing up behind it, which could potentially create a flash flood. The city issued a voluntary evacuation order for residents closest to the slide. We've also put them on notice. We have a, a, an emergency alert system out there. There's a siren. Put them on notice that if, uh, if they hear that siren, they need to be prepared to leave as soon as possible. Valdez will be cut off from the road system for at least a week. The city manager says right now he's not worried. We've, we've checked to make sure we've got plenty of fuel oil, plenty of gasoline. Uh, the food store, Safeway, is, is already uh, moved to bring alternate measures in. They're bringing the food in by barge. Um, the hospital has got all the staff and personnel that they need. The avalanche happened in Snowslide Gulch, which, like its name suggests, is prone to that. But residents say they've never seen it this bad, and there's really only one word to describe it. Wow. <laughs> Wow, that's my initial is wow. It's crazy. That and that avalanche shoot is it comes down every year, but not like that. With so much debris and water covering the highway, crews have a long way to go before anyone is getting through.